so this is one of the worst kombucha sets I've ever seen. Be mindful, this Kevita doesn't even call itself kombucha, so sparkling probiotic drink. And that's exactly what it is. It's, it's laboratory born and patented uh, organisms. So then they release their master cleanse, their master brew, which is the same thing, all laboratory born and patented organisms, nothing to do with kombucha. Now, of course, the master at this was Synergy, GT Synergy. They do the same thing here in their clear gas, glass, all the same thing. Uh, GBI 306086, laboratory born and patented organisms. And then we get into Soja, who I used to work for. I built uh, their, these juice blends you see here, which are halfway decent, but I remember them picking my brain about kombucha because I was big in the kombucha industry at the time. So they ended up releasing their kombucha here, and this is also GBI 306086. Now these corporations use these um, laboratory-born organisms for shelf stability because these bottles can sit, uh, sit on the shelf for over a year um, with no loss. Um, so. What I mean is that it, it doesn't go bad, so um, it's always going to be profitable. So they, they don't have to worry about that. So, so you, you look and you see all this kombucha, and you think like, wow, there is, there's a ton of kombucha on the shelf. But the truth is, is that none of it really is kombucha at all. The only one that I would say is, is this uh, health aid here. That's, I mean, at least they're in amber glass, at least it's authentic kombucha, but it's actually one of my least least favorite um, authentic kombuchas. So yeah, it's it's very interesting here. You really have to be um, mindful of what's going on in this industry, as you think, wow, there's there's over a hundred kombuchas here. Um, no, that's uh, actually not the case at all.